Hi, I'm Tom with Tube Tape, and today I'm going to show you how to put together the Studio Strobe Kit. So when putting your Studio Strobe Kit together, I find it easiest just to kind of lay down all the pieces in front of you to get started. It makes it a little easier. Here we have our reflector, umbrella, slave light socket, light, and different filters along with the stand. Here we have the strobe head with stand. Here's the master strobe head with stand. Two soft boxes and the wireless connections. So when putting the light heads together, I like to start with the uh, master head, which is identifiable by the five pin jack on the bottom. And we just go ahead and hook it right to the light stand itself. So when hooking up your master strobe head, you have two components. The wireless transmitter that connects to your camera and the receiver, which comes with an adapter inside your kit. The signal plug goes right into the side of the strobe head and the power plug, the five pin, plugs in to the bottom of the head right there. Also is another option for continuous power flow. You can also plug in a power source to the bottom of your receiver. So when you have both your strobe heads hooked up, I like to make sure they're working fine with the wireless trigger. The master head is going to set off the secondary head. It's going to detect the flash with this photo eye right here and they're going to be synced up and flashing simultaneously. So the third light head in your studio kit is going to be the slave light. Here inside the slave light bulb there's also a sensor that picks up the flash from the other two heads triggering it to fire. With the bulb screwed in you can just connect it right to the slate light stand and you're pretty much ready to go. It also comes with different types of filters to give you different effects with your strobe kit. Alright, finally here we have the uh, strobe softbox that comes with your kit. Here's the ring, softbox rods, inner outer liners and the soft box itself. What you want to do is open up your soft box, take the ring, and the soft box elastic opening goes around the ring. From there you need to insert your softbox rods. Make sure the rod inserts on the ring match up with the corner pockets on the softbox. And finally, with the last rod going into the ring, they've got this Velcro pouch to slide it through and make it just a little bit easier for assembly. And with that fourth rod in place, your softbox is pretty much ready to go. And depending on what kind of lighting you want, 
with your shots, we have a optional inner liner that goes inside your softbox. And the final piece for the softbox is going to be the outer liner. And that's what it does. It lines the outside of the box for diffuse lighting. All right, now that your soft box is ready to go, you just need to hook it to the light head itself. Slide the ring over the front of the head and just tighten down the bolts that go around the ring there. And finally, now that your studio strobe kit's all assembled, it's pretty much up to you how you're going to want to use your different reflectors, diffusers, and backdrops in your studio. Also, what I like about this kit is it is available in 110 and 220, so you can pretty much shoot anywhere around the world. C2Tape.com slash tips for more information.